Yo, what's up? This truly Rico Rich. A little more energy now. I figured, um, I know the last video I just did, it was a little low energy, kind of a little disfocus or anything. But I'm much better now. It's been a very long week trying to grind out these last couple weeks of school so I can just go ahead and move on to the next thing because I got much, much better things to um, take care of as the months go down the road and hopefully uh, wish me luck, you know what I'm saying? And I'll uh, follow through soon enough. Anyway, um, again, shouts out to Mutiny Monty 1988. Uh, I've, like I said, got your note, read your note. Took me a couple days to get up on it because I was so busy. Watched the U.S. game, watched the Spain game. England kicked their ass. Yeah, yeah, 2 nothing. Okay, no problem. Spain beat us, no problem. But I uh, wish them uh, Spain luck in the Euros. Um, they sound like they got something little going for themselves and now definitely catch the euros that's going to be coming on here in the states as well but to actually answer your question um, about US soccer players and uh, our soccer team the United States men's national team well, basically I think over the years I've been watching soccer our United States soccer team program has improved so much dramatically in just under 20 years I mean 20 years ago was 1990, for about, yeah, around 1990 years, 2008, so 18 years, still within the last 15 to 20 years, I think we're probably the most improved out of all uh, World Cup participants in a very long time. The reason I said this is because before 1989, the last time we actually competed majorly internationally was World Cup 1950, that same World Cup 1950, we beat y'all English guys and and of course that game everyone knows and knows US soccer is the Trinidad game that uh, uh, Calajiri scored that nice goal from way out and took us to the World Cup and murder she wrote basically and um, who we are today the state of soccer like I said uh, the embracing you have your set of niche fans here in the states you have a lot of them like I said here in the United States we're you know sporting wise through such a big country sports wise because you have all different types of fans here in the States. You got US fan you got I mean not just US soccer fans here, you got a lot of Mexican fans, a whole lot of Mexican fans. We got more foreign soccer at pro I mean if I had to do an educated guess out of ten soccer fans here in the United States, I'm pretty sure one out of ten is a US soccer fan. And out of the rest of that ten it's probably mostly European or Latin, I'm pretty sure. And a little African on the side. Anyway, but um uh, U.S. soccer, basically, from the actual team standpoint, like I said, I think we're improving despite what you see recently. Um, we, you know, we got Coach Bob Bradley. He's kind of been in, you know, full time for a minute now, well over a year, some change now. Um, that's pretty much going to be our leader going into the 2010 World Cup, and that's who we're going to ride or die with. So it's very important that uh, we're going to have the coach. And like I said, he, he's very familiar with. U.S. soccer has been around different, all the different players in the team stuff. He coached several teams in Major League Soccer, which has been around for a decade and some change. So I have a lot of confidence in the guy. I don't really question the guy's methods too much. And um, as for the actual soccer team, our 11, our starting 11, we're, we're, we're not your average soccer team, to be honest with you. It's not like England where everybody in their mama knows who the captain is and inspect who the captain is. And it's... It's not like England where, and this is just my interpretation of English soccer uh, FA or the actual English soccer team is because um, I'm pretty sure y'all like the, the, if, you're on the, if you're a player in the English soccer team, you're pretty much well set, you know, I'm pretty much there probably in every newspaper, every media outlet over there. And um, like I said, I read 442, I see a lot of England, uh, England this, England that, England this, England that, so it's in your face all the time and it's very important. Actually, no offense. I think England reminds me of what Notre Dame football is here in the States. It's very glorified, but has some really won um, major trophy in a long time. And like I said, I'm just comparing just from a sports sense. And um, like I said, England takes their soccer very seriously here in comparison to the United States. Um, here in the United States, it's just from a... Um, Overall, Main Street point in, in, in soccer as is really just soccer as a whole. To be honest with you, not just U.S. soccer, but also we gotta look at the the um, overall state of soccer. You know, 
grassroots, everything. Grassroots is growing pretty rapid rate. Uh, a lot of people say it's going to, you know, have a serious effect in, in the next decade or less. And it's evident, you know, we got a, I feel like a legitimate league. And speaking about the team, our league, Major League Soccer, pretty much fills most of that team. And uh, we do have players in the APL. We do have the Marcus Beasley, uh, who played, or actually he did play for Man City for a second. Then he's at Rangers now. We also, uh, we got uh, Fulham, pretty much half your, half of Fulham squad is the U.S. team, not really, but we do have like, I think seven or eight U.S. players on that squad. Also, we develop a reputation of uh, having some decent goalies, you know, Brad Friedel, uh, Hanneman, I believe he's at Reading. Also, uh, Keller, excuse me, uh, Keller, who was also at film, um, old guys, well, from soccer terms, but they're pretty been effective. They've been pretty much been on demand and um, been in Europe for a while, in and out of Europe for a while. I know Keller's been in Germany, been in EPL, came back to EPL. So I think we pretty much, from a um, reputation standpoint, I think our best position wise is goalie. And it's been like that for I want to say the last decade or so. If you look at all our goals, because Keller, Hanneman, and um, also Tim Howard, people are forgetting Tim Howard. He's pretty much been in U.S. soccer program for at least a decade or more. Especially Keller, because um, I think Keller's been ooh, longer. But um, also don't forget Tony Miola, who's also a icon in certain parts of the country when it comes to American soccer as well. Also, um, I feel that we have faster players team speed wise and I don't know how to interpret it from the <laughs> but yeah European standpoint I think y'all call it pace over there over there um if I had to take one particular game that describes how our soccer should be how what y'all call football or our style of football should be is how we Americans like to say fast and furious we usually like to come at you hard and come at you fast and if you watch the 2002 uh, game World Cup match against the Germans, we gave the Germans the run for their money. And a lot of the players, actually, Landon Donovan, one of our best players on that team, was on that squad. A lot of our older players that are not playing now, but they were on that squad during 2002. Some of them was playing in Europe, some of them was actual consistent stars in Major League Soccer, was playing in that game. And you had to watch from start to finish in that game. The only thing that actually stopped us from killing Germany that game was Oliver Kahn. And that because he actually, I think he's probably the only player the whole German team that was woken up, actually woke up. But um, like I said, that was a really good game. And I think my personal opinion, that was probably the best, one of the best all-time soccer games from the U.S. national team I ever seen. And like I said, I was in Korea at the time, but I wasn't at that game. But, you know, I was nearby uh, watching <laughs> at your nearest Army post. But anyway, uh, state of U.S. soccer from Tunisia, I believe we'll have not just one, I believe we want to have several World Cups, but at the same time, it's all on the team. It's really, on, it's really how bad they want to win and stuff. You know, I hear a lot of people talking about, well, we don't play decent squads and stuff and everything, but yeah, I think about we play in CONCACAF. In CONCACAF, that means in North America. In North America, we got Mexico, we got uh, Jamaica, Trinidad, so we play our team. We have a fair share. I can easily criticize England and who they play at half the time. Come on. Macedonia, was it Falkland Islands? I mean, but no, I'm not here to criticize England or anything like that. But like I said, State of American Soccer, U.S. Men National Team, I think we have a lot of potential. We have a big player pool. We got Freddie Adu, Josie Altador, uh, very high prospects on our part. Um, some They're getting some time in their teams. Freddie Adu's in Benfica right now. So uh, I don't know too much about his situation, but I know he's played some games. He has some Champions League soccer which ain't much from at this standpoint, but, you know, we're getting there. Beasley is recovering from injury. He should be full tilt by time. Rangers start the season again. And we got more coming on the way, so I think we're, I think we're starting to make a serious present, uh, player-wise, football-wise, whatever you want to call it. And uh, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Monty, 1988, holler back. It's your boy Rico Rich. Have a nice night. Oh, have a pint on me, too. Yeah, you think I know that, too. All right, okay.